video where I show you how I used to make my coffee before getting my Nespresso machine. Before I decided to actually invest in an automated coffee maker, I basically tried every coffee making tool out there. Uh, I was looking for the cheap versions of making coffee at home that tastes great. So I have two, actually three equipments that I'm going to show you that are much cheaper than getting a coffee machine. And um, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of each and maybe um, this will help you to decide whether do you actually need a coffee machine or you can uh, use a different coffee maker. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the French press. This is one of the most popular items that almost everyone has tried at some point. Uh, it's, the pros are that it's cheap, it's very um, easy to use, you don't really need to be a coffee expert, it has a preset time that you need to brew your coffee. Basically, you grind your beans, you uh, scoop a ratio of one part beans to two parts water, and you let it brew within four minutes. So after four minutes, you're going to pour your coffee. So simple to use, um, you don't need to be an expert, makes coffee that tastes almost similar every time. Now the cons of using this coffee press is that you can't really control the quality of coffee it makes, it's standard. So you can also find that it's a bit difficult to clean, all your beans are going to be stuck into this glass bottom and you're going to have to scoop them up manually. Um, unless you buy a more expensive version which comes with, like, with a way to scoop it out. Uh, I found that it's troublesome to clean up after having coffee and um, yeah basically it makes coffee that has a unique taste so if you're not someone who drinks long black coffee I think this might not suit you. Other than that I think it's uh, it's a great way to get introduced to making coffee at home. A French press, it's super easy. So the next coffee maker is the Hario V60. I have heard a lot of people talking about this. This is insanely popular on social media and it's basically the first coffee maker that I purchased because um, it's cheap, number one. Number two is that you can make coffee really fast. You don't have to wait as soon as you pour water on top of the beans, you can immediately drink it and um, it makes a full cup of coffee. So easy to use, you can choose your own beans, you can grind your own beans if that's what you like, you can try different varieties of coffee and I can definitely uh, say that I started to learn about distinguishing coffee flavors from this machine. So. Um, Basically, if for one cup of coffee, you just scoop one cup of grounded beans and it's super easy to clean because you just scoop out the filter and you throw it. This coffee maker here, it's the Vietnamese press. It's something that um, I would say it combines the French press and the V60 technique so basically you have this small container where you're going to put your beans then you're going to put it on top of your mug or cup and you're going to pour hot water and let it slowly drip this kind of coffee i think uh, it works well for darker roast if you like vietnamese coffee thai coffee malaysian style coffee you can buy vietnamese type of coffee beans and you can grind them and enjoy your cup of coffee. So you'll usually see the Vietnamese coffee press sitting on top of a, a glass with some condensed milk at the bottom and uh, it slowly drips into the condensed milk and that's how people mostly have it. It's, uh, it makes a very thick and rich kind of coffee that has a sweet taste. Yeah, the disadvantages of this thing is that um, you have to wash a lot of components, there's a lot of parts involved and if you're not really careful because this is stainless steel you can actually burn yourself i have done it multiple times i burned myself because after you pour the hot water make sure you don't touch it um, and i also found that because this thing doesn't have a filter it just has like a mat some metal netting down here and here uh, i still found that some of the coffee beans go through the coffee so if 
that's something that bothers you. You don't like to see them at the bottom uh, of your coffee or floating up in your coffee. Uh, I would not recommend this one. The same thing with the French press. You're going to have some of the coffee beans come out in your cup. So it's not as neat and clean tasting as the paper filter. So out of these three, my personal favorite is this one because um, I really like the clean taste of coffee. So if you like coffee that it's mild, it's not full bodied, it's easy to drink, uh, I highly recommend this. This pairs well with medium roasted and even light roasted coffees. So if you're a black coffee drinker, uh, you don't like bitter coffee, you don't like thick espresso style coffees, or you like to drink long cups with slightly, a little bit, a touch of creamer, then uh, this one makes really good coffee. So that is it guys. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like my video, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. What, are the, what is your favorite way to make coffee in your country? And uh, let me know below. Make sure you subscribe, give me a like and a comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.